familiar spirit, how they operate, and how you will break free from them. Break and break out from familiar spirit and start progressing. Dangers of familiar spirit and how you can actually be free from them. Do this and all familiar spirits will leave you alone. By God's grace, in today's video, I wish to share with you what familiar spirit is, how dangerous they are, and why you must be free from them now. Reason is this, I know that most of us have traveled to our native land. Most of us are going to be visiting different places. Has it ever occurred to you that most of the times when you travel to your village, to your location or a different location, and you come back to still face the same business work or whatever engagement you are into, you will now notice that things seem to turn upside down. Certain powers start oppressing and suppressing you that somehow, somehow you regret ever traveling. And these have made some become afraid of even traveling to the village and to the extent that some are even suspecting people like their parents and relatives to be the ones responsible for all this problem. Well, after today's video, you will find out if actually what you are going through is coming from familiar spirit or otherwise. But before then, please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it as to do so. May God bless you. Welcome back to Jenny Action TV. In this channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. This channel will pray strategic prayers. We believe in balance. That is why we do spiritual work because faith with your work is dead. And we also read the word of God in and out and abide by all the principles of the world. So, if this is the very first time you're finding yourself in this channel and you find this variable present, why not hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So without wasting time, let's dive into the video. You see, familiar spirit is one of the most dangerous spirits. It is different from monitoring spirit. Monitoring spirits are spirits that goes everywhere you go and it tries to collect information from you. They can come in form of different creatures like lizard, like war gecko, cockroach, bat, and so on and so forth. Enter your house just to collect information. They can equally possess human beings to use them to collect information. They only work with the information they have collected. Like I normally say that God is the only one that is omnipotent, omniscience and omnipresence, that no spirit or monitoring spirit is actually omnipotent presence, science, or potence, they are just omini information. So in other words, if you can protect your environment, your house, yourself from, from allowing any form of monitoring spirit or its agent to gain access into your life, your battle with monitoring spirit end to an extent. But when it comes to familiar spirit, familiar spirit are spirit that we can even regard as territorial demons. They are a spirit that dwell very long and have lived very long in a particular territory, in a particular place, so much so that they have mastered everything about that place and they have been afflicting people that are living or that are occupants or inhabitants of that place with different types of issues so much so that once you are going to that particular place they are there to confront you for example some of you that have traveled to the village there are already spirits that are familiar that is they are familiar with the environment they know in and out they know everybody they have all the information and they know how they can use somebody to manipulate you what they can do and that person have problem that is already dwelling in a place so if you have traveled there is a familiar spirit living in that your place that is responsible for making sure that one way or the other you have issues because the bible actually says that the devil come to come to steal destroy and kill but jesus come to actually give us deliverance and liberation and apart from that that's why the bible say in mark chapter 3 that nobody goes to the strong man's house and bring out anything without first of all binding the strong man in other words if you must 
overcome the familiar spirits. You need to bind them. If not, they will certainly operate against you. This is why people travel and come back with different types of challenges because familiar spirits have either gone ahead of them to sponsor some battle in their way and they know maybe somebody that is very, very temperamental. They go and ask, make you to have issue with that person. You start quarreling and fight. Before you know it, that person starts doing some invocations against you and then one word or the other, they follow you back to your present location in order to deal with you and that is why you must stop them before they stop you so this is what they do and also they study the weakness of the people that are there and then work under your weakness to bring you that that is why in every family in every community in every place you see a particular pattern either they are experiencing untimely death they are experiencing poverty delay in marriage some before they marry they must give birth in their father's house you will see some experiencing failure at the age of breakthrough these are all operations of familiar spirit they make sure that the same pattern is what is happening to almost everybody in that community or in that family almost all the ladies almost all the except you break out and break away you will surely be a victim so this is one spirit that must be dealt with the question is how are you going to get liberated so much so that if you have traveled you will come back without experiencing all this problem number one i must tell you is you see this your palms and this your leg they are highly spiritually active once you get to any location like you are traveling to the village wherever you are try at one point in time or one day or the other walk barefooted and make some prophetic decrease even even if people are there it doesn't matter let them know that you are praying especially in the night come out and walk barefooted and declare that you are taking authority against every territorial demon every familiar spirit operating in this the compound because you have the authority you have the power that i command you to be out of my way i bind you because Bible says that in my book of Mark chapter 3, nobody will go into the house of a strong man without first of all binding the strong man. I bind you from operating against me and I command you be silenced. Do not operate against me and do not follow me. I cover myself blood of Jesus. You try to walk barefooted for some times. Even if you don't have strength to pray, you don't know much to pray, one way or the other, walk some barefooted in your father's compound in any of those locations outside where you are seeing the sky. One way or the other, you are taking dominion over that place and there is limit to what a kind of familiar spirit will do to you. Number two is you need to be prayerful in midnight it's good you pray submit yourself to god acknowledge jesus as your lord and personal savior because he's your ultimate helper and the one that can liberate you another one is don't joke with this a damn fruit if you go to exodus 30 34 i put it countless time here this is one of the fruit that is among the light spices that god actually asked moses to burn in order to make the environment conducive for him to be around you know that was for him to come and speak to him burn this atm food in that your environment even in your room in your kitchen that it will circulate in your room and also burn kentucky grass you can actually get my video on kentucky grass it will help to silence all those a kind of familiar spirit from operating against you the third one is you need to pack sand from that particular environment when you pack that sand in the midnight you get up and then hold this sand in your left hand and then get salt hold it with the leather i have told you don't be putting salt in your palm it's not good open it small and use both of them to make prayer and declare that oh god the creator of the universe i take dominion that this sun belongs to the sun of this place i have come i take dominion over the land and i pray that this land will be open up to me that this land will not consume me even if it's consuming the inhabitants it is not for me that i am going to succeed in this land that no power no force will be able to work against me in this land i see myself blood of jesus you can read Psalm 24 and pray it along. Then, after you have done that, divide that particular salt, uh, sand into two. Get a spoon of salt and declare that so long as salt is a kind of for preservation and that when Elisha get to that land that is unproductive, that it was only salt that he poured pour inside the water of that land. That is according to 2 Kings 2, 19-21. And that place become productive. That today as I miss this salt inside this sand, and I, say, I pour it back to the nation. I pray that every power will be silenced and let the land begin to work in my favor. Then you now get three spoons of salt and mix it in the sand. 
then divide the entire sand and salt into two when you divide it into two carry one and add it to your bath water you can even get that one if you are doing the first day you land to that place you can divide that salt into three and bet it with three for three days and then pour the other half back to the nation so you now soak it for some hours like one or two before you sleep and then sieve out the water and use it to bet the next day get another one also bet with it the third one bet each of them remains some water with the particles of sand that will be at the bottom of that uh, bucket and pour it outside by god's grace no familiar spirit will work on you the third thing you are going to do is when you have come back to your location to ensure that you continue progressing without any evil you need to get something like a small bowl and measure out like uh, three spoons of original honey crush seven pieces of garlic and mix inside that particular original honey and then and then use your right middle finger and turn it very well praying that today as i've come back to this my location that everything about me will answer sweetness that i'm not going to have any problem that no familiar space is permitted to come here with me that i am preserved and protected and then you now use it begin to rub it all over you as you are rubbing it you are praying as you are rubbing it you are praying you rub it your entire body both your palm and your hands you do this in the night when you are about to sleep or at most 3 a.m. of the day you return because you might be very weak and then you get bitter leaf in other words we have bitter leaf handy and then that quantity of bitter leaf you can divide it into three and boil two parts and then add a little bit of salt when you enter between to bed use that bitter leaf as your sponge because when you have rubbed this you can pray for like one hour 30 minutes, 2 hours, depending on your capacity, then use it to bet, declaring that you are free from every form of familiar spirit, every form of limitation, every form of uh, uh, sorrows, anything that has returned to your location, you start experiencing any form of negativity that you are not. Remember to put a, a spoon of kitchen salt inside that water or bitter leaf, then use it to bet with your soap, with your sponge, with your cleaning your body by God's grace. You will see your way open as never before. Every form of battle the enemy would have come with familiar spirit to battle against you will not work. If in your family others are not getting married, you get married. If people have finished traveling and their business scatter, your own will not scatter. If people in that your community are not marrying, you will always marry. So even if you are living in a particular community and you experience this type of pattern working in your life, one word or the other, do this recipe by God's grace. You will break free and break out from familiar spirit. So go and try this and you will always come back with testimony. So with this, I've come to the end of today's video. Believing that somebody has actually found value. If you are one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share it to everyone. I shall be helping a lot of people as to do so. May God bless you. So with this, I've come to the end of today's video.